Hello, and welcome to another episode of Something, Something Chat Show with your host, Tom Jr. Jackson. I am he, uh, Tom Jr. Jackson, as you are we, and we are all together. And welcome to another episode of Something, Something Chat Show with Tom Jr. Jackson presents Spooky October edition of After the Movie Review. Today's movie we will, be, we will be reviewing is Evil Dead, and this is episode nine of our spooky October editions. So before we begin, uh, let's talk a bit about this. Have you liked, commented, subscribed, hit that notification bell? Yeah. Go right ahead and do that. Have you checked out my playlists here on the channel? Go ahead and do that too. As a matter of fact, down below in the description box are uh, two channels that I have links for that you should check out. Let's go right there and do that. As a matter of fact, uh, down in the description box, you can follow me on, you can follow the show on Twitter as well. So now let's talk about positive fandom. Positive Fandom is a channel run by RM. Uh, she does unboxings. She does reviews, such as movie reviews, television show reviews, um, movie television show, out of the theater reviews, uh, trailer reactions and reviews. And she also does a Sunday morning show. When on Sunday morning is it? It's every Sunday morning, 10.30 a.m. Eastern, 7.30 a.m. Pacific, Sunday brunch live with RM with her co and with her co-host, Russell Whitfield, who is an author, by the way. Check out his books on Amazon. You'll be glad you did. Uh, how, what is Sunday Brunch Live? Sunday Brunch Live is a show where uh, Russ and RM parlay about all the pop culture news that's fit from the week to fit into a show. Yeah, I think I got that right. So they talk about all the pop culture news that's fit to be put to a show. And uh, it's a great show. Uh, RM is my friend. I am her collaborator. I am the moderator for her channel as well. And the live chats. And if you have a YouTube channel, a podcast, a website, you know, Instagram feed or whatever, and you want to get more viewers, subscribers, followers, uh, if you're watching the show live, uh, put it in the uh, live stream there. Yeah, you know, let us know what the name of it is and we will find the link and we will put the link out there for you and explain and uh, get the word out about whatever it is that you would like to promote. Because at Positive Fandom, we believe in celebrating creators of online content. Uh, content. And speaking of RM, she has a show on the Post Geek Singularity YouTube channel. Actually, she has two shows on the Post Geek YouTube channel. First one is her most recent one. It's called Ladies of the PGS, and that's every Monday night, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, where they where on her show she talks about embracing masculinity. Uh, she talks about um, sci-fi, horror, Marvel, Star Wars, DC, Star Trek, and sex and more, as well as things in between, like different topics, um, such as the movie Blonde. That was one of the most recent topics on one of her past shows. Um, so check that out, but she's also 
a co-host on another show with the creator of the uh, Post Geek Singularity, Robert Meyer Burnett. And uh, it's called Midnight Musings, and it's Robert Meyer Burnett, the captain, uh, RM, and Lael Rockwell of the One Six Scale Man YouTube channel. Now, um, Robert Meyer Burnett, who is he? Well, Robert Meyer Burnett is a director. He's directed Free Enterprise. He's done some episodes of a show called Femme Fatales. He's uh, produced and created some of the uh, special features for the first two Lord of the Rings movies, the first two X-Men movies, um, and the first two X-Men movies. And uh, he was a producer and editor on Tango Shalom, which is now streaming on Amazon Prime Video. And as well as the animatic editor on Dota, Dragon's Blood, all three seasons. That's on Netflix, check that out as well. And not only do they have that show on the post Geek Singularity, they have Midnight Metal, uh, Let's Get Physical Media, um, Whining About Movies, Fully Articulated, and Observations with your captain, Robert Meyer Burnett directly from the USS Observatory, coming at you live when he's live. All the shows are live, so. Um, and also there are playlists on that channel as well, so you can see past episodes of all those shows on the Post Geek Singularity YouTube channel, as well as for as low as 99 cents, you can join the Post Geek Singularity channel. 99 cents, that's like a buck, a buck, come on buck and you get to um you, you for that price at any level see there are different levels but at any level you can join their members only zoom call which is every other week uh so that's like twice a month and uh, you get to talk with rob for about 10 or so minutes, you have to raise your hand first. They, they go in by order of who's raised their hand. And uh, for 10 minutes, you get to talk to Rob about his career. You could talk about Hollywood. You could talk about what's going on, what you're watching, what you're excited for, comic books, whatever. He will talk to you because Rob likes to talk to people. And these members only Zoom calls last three, four, sometimes five hours because Rob loves talking to uh the people he's a people person and he is what you would call an imagination connoisseur so join the channel if you can links for those two channels are down below so now let's get into our review of 2013's the evil dead and as i said before this is um after the movie review Episode nine, Spooky October edition. So in 1981, Sam Raimi brought what was destined to be a horror classic to the big screen and introduced the world to a very, very groovy actor, Bruce Campbell. And, and that movie was called The Evil Dead, and it spawned a few sequels. And even a TV show, Ash versus The Evil Dead. And in 2013, Fetty Alvarez brought a rebooted version to the big screen. And today, as we approach April 5th, 2023, nearly 10 years. Well, coming up on a 10th anniversary of this reboot. Uh, I will be discussing Alvarez's version that introduced uh, Jane Levy to the world. So join me, shall you? For nearly 42 years, The Evil Dead has been a horror classic that has remained in the zeitgeist of horror fans. 
that is until Fetty Alvarez brought his version to the big screen. And at first, I was thinking, why do they need to update it? Why do they need to reboot it? Why do they need to make it do this? And then I watched it and I realized it was like an amped up version of the Evil Dead. It was its own thing. And I love that. You know, it, it has the beats and the basis of the Evil Dead, but it's its own thing. And while being a product of its own thing, that is a very hard thing to do. And in case you don't know the story of this rebooted movie or continuation, and I, I can never be sure if it's a continuation or a reboot, but you know, here's the story so far. Five friends head out to a remote cabin in the woods where one of them finds a book of the dead, which leads them to unwittingly summon up demons that live in the nearby woods. That's just plain and simply what it's about. I like this movie. You know, I like that it's its own thing. I like that it's it's not an exact copy of the original. I mean, you could, I mean, they could have done a, a new one where they brought a new guy to play Ash, uh, the uh, Bruce Campbell character, but they didn't. They brought on this uh, Jane Levy, who just like that hit it big with this film because she is fantastic in this movie and the depth that she goes through to play the character that she plays. Um, now, this film was shot, 95% uh, of it was shot in chronological order. And this was done because a lot of the film was shot in a controlled environment because the level of blood and violence gets worse and worse and worse as the film progresses. This is not a film for kids. All right, I wanna say that now. This is not for kids. It's not one of those films that's going to, that you want to sit down with the family on a Friday night and go, hey, let's watch this. You know, I mean, unless you want to traumatize your kids, go for it. But not that I'm, adv not that I'm advocating that. Not that I am. Um, over 50,000 gallons of fake blood was used in this movie. Over 50,000 gallons um this film was also jane levy's first major horror role so really it put her out there on the map which jane levy also went on to star in a, in a wonderful little show called um i can't think of the name of it now something extraordinary I can't remember but it was a good show and I can't remember the name of it because it's been a while since I've seen it um but anyways she she she's fantastic in that show and she can sing you know she's a great singer too um this film was banned in the Ukraine for extreme violence as well because I mean this I should say there are two versions of this film there's your theatrical version, and then there is your unrated version, your director's cut, as you may, as you might call it. And I like the, the I like the unrated version better. It's more violent. It's um, it's more violent. It's it it. It's got more meat to it, um, if anything. It has more meat to the story. And because of that, it, the film was banned in the Ukraine for its violence. And horror movies should be violent. 
that's what it is, a horror film. You know, it's, it's um, unless you're going down that route of Saw, and then you're getting into the torture porn area. Um, Diablo Cody polished and American, Americanized the screenplay while remaining uncredited because the director and co-writer are not native speakers, native English speakers. So the dialogue needed some toughing up, you know, tightening up in the screenplay. Um, and it's fine, it's great. Um, this is the third Evil Dead film to use the iconic chainsaw and double barrel shotgun, also known as the boom stick. It was shot in America over a period of a month. And this is in addition to another additional 40 days of filming here in the United States. This film is a fantastic film. As a matter of fact, there is another uh, Evil Dead film coming out called Evil Dead, Evil Dead Rise, and I believe it takes place in the city. And it is something I'm excited about. I'm not, and I don't anticipate anything from it, but I'm excited to see where, where it's going to take this franchise, where it's going to go. It's a different atmosphere rather than in the woods. Um, but this, this one took place in the woods, and there are some beat-by-beat -beat moments from the original film that are in this film. But it's totally, as I said before, its own thing. And I, I like that. I like that when you can take, a, if you're going to do a movie, all right, and you're going to redo it, and you keep the, the core uh, story to it, and then um, change it around just a tiny bit to make it its own thing. I think that's fantastic because if you're going to want to watch a movie that's a shot by shot remake of something, go watch uh, Gus Van Zandt's remake of Psycho. That's shot by shot. That's, that's what you will see. Literally shot by shot down to the script itself. Everything, shots, angles, whatever. This is its own thing. And it's a fun movie. It's a fun movie. It's uh, tedious at times, but that's a great thing because it keeps you like this rather than, oh, yeah, I'm just going to enjoy it like this. So you like this. And I like it when a movie's like that. I've only been, I've only watched a movie once that has made me so, you know. Twice that has made me sit like that. And that one was Beast, and the other one was Nope. And when you've got a movie and you're like, like when I saw Nope, and I'm, when, when I do that review, I'll get more into it, but I was sitting like this. And there was a jump scare, and I didn't realize how far forward I was sitting. And when I was a jump scare, I went flying back in my seat. This is a fun movie, and it's it's one that I enjoy. I love the Evil Dead films, and it doesn't matter how bad they can be or whatever, if they're bad or if they're not. But I like this one. I like the cast in this one, and a lot of them are people I just don't know. I didn't know who Jane Levy was before I saw this movie, but I ended up liking her by the end and how she just kicks butt fantastically in this film. And everybody has their own role to play and everybody does a fantastic job of, of uh, playing their roles. Um, do I recommend this? Sure, if you, if you want something different, if you, if you're interested in it, watch it. And like I've always said, don't, don't have to agree with my uh, opinion. If you don't agree, that's fine. Always remember to watch. 
the content and then form an opinion. Because if you don't watch it, you can't complain. Plain and simple. I want to thank you all for watching. Please come back next time for another After the Movie Review, Scary or uh, Spooky, October edition. This was episode nine. Uh, we got plenty more horror films, uh, scary, spooky stuff down the pipeline uh, coming for this special month, as well as a playlist for other movies um, that I've done, I'm doing reviews for or have done reviews for. We've got another playlist that's book reviews that I got a few books I need to review, which will come up on the channel. Um, we got a review on the first the whole first season of She Hulk. All the episodes, each episode is there, um, and or as well. And uh, interviews coming soon. So just remember to like, comment, subscribe, and. Uh, Ring that notification bell for my channel and the channels below in the uh, description. And uh, let them know that you heard about their channel from me, Tom G. Jackson. And until next time, remember, wherever you are, wherever you are, whether it be here or there, everywhere in the 29 known galaxies and wherever, we are all goof people. Thank you and have a pleasant tomorrow and see you next time.